Whatever one, the horrible one. The, the horrible one? Yeah. Alright. It's the show that sucks with your host, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. Uh, please delete this or people will commit suicide. Jesus Christ. Uh, next comment. Yeah, Three. I hope so. I hope someone commits suicide because our show. It'd be so many, so uh, much good publicity. The terrible freaking person. Jesus. We get so much publicity though. Think of the Twitch dollars. <laughs> the Twitch dollars. Think, think of all the pennies we can make. <laughs> With special guests from around the fighting game community. Uh, who are we winning to fight, Drew or Rico Swagger? I mean, I, I guess, guess I'd have to. I'd have to go with Drew. Rico has weird naked pictures of himself on the internet, so probably Drew. Hey, don't we all go? Would you fuck a pony? Would you fuck a pony? Would you fuck a pony? Hey, we're answering. Answer, hey, we're asking would, questions. I'll fuck I, this. Man, I have a fucking motherfucking ponies, man. I would fuck a pony. Would you? Now for your hosts, Harrison and Hanzo Gonzo. God, I hope this is right. Nope, it's wrong. There you go. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I don't know what happened, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend right. like nothing ever happened. Okay. Oh, I guess I should introduce the show. Welcome yeah, to short. the number, uh, was it 72nd episode of the show that sucks? Yep. I am myself. I am myself. That makes sense. I am Harrison. Uh, I am my co host is Hanzo Gonzo, the worst person on the internet, worst person currently wearing that. Uh, 25th anniversary Street Fighter shirt. I am. Thank you for your time. You have a good eye. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm wearing that shirt because I got it for free. What did you do for uh, an April Fool's? I, 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 you said before the show you have some kind of April Fool's joke for me. Yeah, you won't notice it though. It's, is it an April Fool's joke if I already know it's coming? I guess not. You won't notice it. I won't. My April Fool's joke is that. Um, well, for today, what I did, I didn't really do anything. I did, like, dumb ones, like, hey, you're cool, not huh, April Fool's. I didn't do anything, like, crazy serious, you know. I got an iPhone. Is that an April Fool's joke? I just want to brag about my iPhone. I got one. <laughs> I think everybody's just hoping that's not real. <laughs> I got an iPhone. <laughs> Wait, I can turn it on. Yeah. I don't know how to work You it. are now, <laughs> you now have Twitter everywhere you go. I know. Well, I did previously, but I couldn't respond to people. Now I can actually see Twitter. You That's can. cool. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't really do that much. It's, it's been pouring down rain here, dude. It's been pouring rain. I haven't left the house besides going to this uh, symposium or whatever. It felt like my roof was going to collapse on it me. It did? It? Yeah. I, mean, I know the site, uh, there's a bunch of sites on the internet because the internet turns into a whole shit fest over April 1st. So um, do you have any... Uh, April Fool's joke you want to share with everyone? Uh, that I thought was funny or a joke yeah, or something? Yeah, good. Uh, Break TV did a... You know the Honest Trailers, right? Yeah. Break TV did a prank with the guy who, who does the voice for the Honest Trailers. He had him as the person at the drive-thru taking orders. And he would basically uh. just turn their drive-thru into basically like a what would be a 30-second movie trailer on the radio for people driving through and it's pretty funny oh that's good i know we were just in the pre-show we we're talking about imager doing that stuff do you want to explain that and you take off my jacket real quick oh uh basically right now on imager if you they have a button and you click it and it just randomly generates random top comments that i don't know recently and stuff but it's just funny because you just go through random pictures Every once in a while, you'll click it, and it'll match the picture. I don't know. It's just fun. It's funny because all the comments are have 100% happened, and you can get funny gifts and stuff out of generating comments, which I think is cool. I found a lot of funny gifts. Sweet. What the fuck? So, for the show today... I okay, said... if you don't seriously put your shirt back on in the next five seconds, I want to fucking... Just put it on the splash page. <laughs> Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hey, 
Anyways, Terrence, let's move on with the show. Come on. Yeah, we can move hey. on the show now. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. Okay, so um, my favorite April Fool's joke was when League of Legends, they did that mode where it's like super crazy. That was pretty funny. <laughs> so. <laughs> let's go, Harrison. Do you guys have Alpha Clash? People that are listening to this on the MP3, he seriously has his fucking shirt off right now. <laughs> it's the most disgusting thing I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> Come on, do you understand? Relax. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> if this gets put and was as one of the three thumbnails on the YouTube thing, I'm going to be mad. So I'm going to do the rest of the show like this. Oh my god. <laughs> the worst part is you guys in chat can't see it right now, but I still can. Oh, did you turn it on? I fucking turned it off. Oh my god, here. So I'm taking out my boxes then. Oh god. <laughs> Let me just turn off the Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you drunk? No. What's wrong with you? <laughs> no. I had Let's shit go. to talk about this week now too, but now it's just gone. I have shit to talk about too. Oh my Let's god. There's nothing wrong with it. It's really cold. <laughs> All right, talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about. Um, we had Alpha Clash this weekend. You, uh, I watched some of the Marvel. It was pretty good. I know Street Fighter is crazy for it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was good. Do you want me to elaborate? You were there. I wasn't there. I, I was know. there. I just, I, yeah. Harrison, we've slept in the same bed together, Harrison. All right? I don't care if the chat knows. <laughs> Let's get, well, can we get past it already? I guess we can. I just need to take you off the screen because I don't want to look fine. at you right now. Uh... Okay. All right. Oh, my God. So people didn't see this, but he actually did take his underwear off. <sighs> oh my god. I didn't think it had this much of an impact on me here. So. <laughs> I don't even know how to start a conversation with you right now. There's nothing wrong with being naked. Um, who won Marvel? Didn't uh, Chris G? Chris G was there. That was crazy. Yes. Yes, it was. Yeah, what was he doing up in NorCal? Do you know? I don't know. But I thought it was funny that I said... Or you said you couldn't come, and I was like, well, the last one wasn't that great anyway, so it probably wasn't going to be that good, and it ended up being probably the best NorCal tournament for Marvel since Double KO. Yeah, I, I watched some of the highlights, but I was gone for the majority of it, and I know everyone was like going crazy over it. People were watching it, and you, you guys had Deary commentating. That was cool. Really yeah, days. he wanted to get on before NCR, which uh, I'm totally down for. But I think we uh, we had a lot of fun commentating Marvel, Marvel and AE until the very end, which kind of happens, I feel like, in uh, just like any game right now, at any tournament, in my opinion. Yeah, um, I know. Uh, was Apology Man there? Yes. Yes. 
Yeah. Because, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They have a run back with Christian and Paul. They yeah, did. Just, they did. Okay. It was really close, too. It was a super good match. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> do you have no cameras on? I'm checking. <laughs> I don't have the camera on. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whatever, Harrison. I'm staying like this. Can't stop me. Anyways. Um, was Apology Man he was using his Firebrand team against Christy? Was Christy using his drill team? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's cool to watch. I need to go back and watch all the archives again because I know people really enjoyed it. Um, what happened to Street Fighter? Uh... Basically, John Choi got to winners finals and then left. Really? Yeah. So he didn't even <laughs> so, play winners finals. So, wait, so he, he beat someone, then got to winners finals. Like, dude. <laughs> he beat Buda Man Oops. and then left. That's like the ultimate disrespect. That's like John Choi though. Just he fucking just does that. Beat someone then make him leave. Yep. I'm not even going to bother uploading this. Oh my god, Harrison. <laughs> Someone screen cap me. Uh, <laughs> Do you have aspirations for this show, Harrison? <laughs> Hold on, let me, let me get my cat in. Hold on. Oh my god. God, what is he doing? All right, this show is already shit fest, so it's out of my head. Um. Anyways, what else uh, happened, Street Fighter? <sighs> Nothing really. Nothing really? No. There wasn't any hype matches? Well, there was. I just can't concentrate. Oh my god, am I that mesmerizing to you, Harrison? No. Yeah, this is just embarrassing. <laughs> I came home and stopped playing Settlers <laughs> to fucking look at you naked. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, Harrison. I like this show. <laughs> I liked this show. <laughs> <laughs> Harris, I could have done this to you in person. You realize that? I could leave you in person, though. <laughs> That's true. I... <laughs> I can't leave you right now. Yeah. It's all right, dude. It's okay. My cat's here now, so... Anyways, um... What else happened besides Alpha Clash? Uh, ID Global Tournament happened? Yes, the ID uh, Cafe Tournament where King Blue River was streaming off an Ava Media device and it was fucking up constantly. It was hilarious to me to watch. And like they couldn't get the audio right and everything happened and Offcast fixed it, which is cool. But um, there was some high-level Marvel. Um, I know there was a Marvel player by the name of Jap chin or something. Um, but uh, he's like a, a nobody. I thought I probably just butchered his name. It's like Mahabani something. Um, he was playing a virtual team. He's doing really well, and I never heard of him before. So it's really cool to see new Japanese talent that we haven't heard of. So uh, that was cool. And then Cable River did not. I don't think he got fourth place, but he did. He did okay. Um, he's probably expected to do much better, uh, seeing that it's pretty much only Nemo Justin at that tournament. And uh, on the tournament, he beat Justin uh, out of losers, I believe. And he did it after losing the first of fifteen, and it's rumored no, that no, he didn't beat him in losers. Oh, he beat him out of winners. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I believe it wasn't it three one both times or something. 
something like that. I forget. Um, but I know Nemo won, and he downloaded Justin apparently in the first 15. So that's a lesson to all the people who do exhibitions before top eight. I felt like he knew he was gonna. He knew it was gonna happen, and he still did it. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Justin's the type of person to be like, well, if he can download me doing that, then he deserves to win, you know? It's like a respect thing. Like, I'm going to go hard 100% of the time because that's like, it's kind of what Justin is. I don't, I don't ever think I've seen Justin sandbag. a bag. Yep. <laughs> can you just put on your clothes? Oh my god, do you really want me to put on my clothes? Yeah, I think that would be best interest for literally everybody. <sighs> we in Nazi Germany? Put on my shirt. No, but I have to stream NCR on this channel in a couple oh weeks. Oh my god. Is Fish Sticks coming on here? <laughs> That's in like two weeks. <laughs> That's gonna be my thumbnail. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm not wearing any pants. <sighs> Just don't stand up. <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst April Fool's whatever the hell that was. It ever. was a great one. That was a great one. Yeah. Yeah, it was a... Great one. Yep. <laughs> you seem pretty perturbed by it, man. <laughs> All right, time to get numping. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of high-level Street Fighter at Cafe I did, did tournament. I know Daco was there, strutting his evil you, and uh, quite a number of high-level players. Uh, what do you think of it? I thought the Street Fighter was amazing. I don't know. Uh, you said Marvel was okay, right? Yeah. It's okay. It's every, cool to see Nemo play. Every single match in Street Fighter could have been top eight at. I want to say like almost Evo. Any every single match, it was absolutely ridiculous. And I think the one match that I thought was really really good was, um, I can't remember how to pronounce his name. I think it's Daku, or Daco. Daco. But uh, I, I mispronounce it. But he plays there. like a few different characters. But he had to play Chirithi, and he played Ken, and he was just doing. He, you can Ken? tell he played the character because he was doing so many smart reads and uh, just everything we did was crazy. That I really need to go back and watch it in order to learn how to play against Cammy, because he does everything right. But I just thought that really impressed me because nobody that I've seen so far plays against Cammy at the top level yet, in my opinion. Yeah. And I feel like the Japanese have that, you know, culture where if they have like a really good Cammy in the arcade or someone near them, then they're just gonna learn the match like super well with any character. And, you know, um that you know that has been traveling. He's been traveling a lot lately. He was at um he was at something wasn't he at um SCR? No, that wasn't him. I'm being racist. Sorry, say that again. <sighs> what is the recent tournament that Kyle has been at? I, I believe he's he was always at, he was at the, I believe just all of the qualifiers for the Capcom Cup thing. That's right? what it was. That's yeah, what it was. the Singapore stuff. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, you know, China's got a serious A game, even though it's kind of hidden out. Um, there was also. Uh, do you want to talk more about IGT because? Really, Marvel was in. It. It's just cool to watch Japanese players. Pretty much it. Uh, I mean, I only watched a few and then Grand Finals. And Tokido looked like for the first time in a really long time just straight up defeated by Mago. Really? Yeah. He had his nut. And he came back from losers, too. And I believe it was 3 1 in both sets, or maybe 3 0 in the second set when Mago came back. But yeah, Dago. Or Mago just basically had his number the entire time. Once he figured something out, he baited every single one of his uppercuts 
for the next five or six matches. So, yeah. It's pretty yeah. convincing. That's what, they, they play a lot together, though. They have that show um, they do in Japan. I believe it's... I think it's the Topanga shit, but I'm not entirely sure what it's actually called. But they do have a show together, and they play all the time, so... You know. Oh, yeah. When you download your friend, you, sometimes you just know playing someone after a while. Yeah. What they're gonna do. But uh, yeah. Um, was he using Sigat, Correct. Mago. Was, no, yeah. he used Fei Long. I was still using Fei. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. She used Sigat again. Mago was the Sigat besides Bonchan. I don't know. Bonchan is on a whole other level right now. I feel like is he? With Sigat. Yeah. I only saw his one match versus Human Bomb. And it was the craziest match ever, because we've seen after watching how many millions battle circuits that Sakura versus yeah. Sagat is just not a great match for Sagat. Yeah. But man, he was just read after read after read. That was it. Beat him. Sorry, I'm typing something. I'm doing the questions. Fuck you. Um, that's cool though. Um. Oh god, I can only manage. Them. Oh my god. Hell pockets is in there. Okay. We have some interesting questions. Um, but yeah. So IGT was a very good tournament, and he's a cool person. IGT. Um. But uh, yeah. So definitely, if you guys want to go check out the archives, they're on Cafe I Did's channel. I call it I did. I did. Cafe Ed's channel. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, maybe look out for it next year when they come back. Surely they'll get all the technical doodads sorted out since they were streaming. King Blue River was just streaming randomly. You know what? They did it right, though. I felt like, in my opinion, just make sure. I mean, did the tournament run okay behind the scenes? I don't, I don't know no anything idea. about that. I hope I'm... it did. Yeah. Because a first time, you just want the tournament to run smoothly for everybody who shows up. Yeah, you don't want to be, like, the best grand tournament. You just want to not fuck up. <laughs> yeah. That's your thing. Just don't fuck up. As long as it ran on time for them and players enjoyed it, they're going to be able to get everybody back again and, you know, have a second chance with the stream as opposed to, okay, well, the stream is great. Well, the tournament ran like shit and nobody's going to show up again. You're not going to get another chance at that. So yeah. I think they did it right at least. Is that it? I, yeah, I mean, for, I don't really have anything to I, say much about KOF, it. KOF, that Cambalista guy lost, I guess. Wins Reynolds, I'll say. Wins Why's America. Why didn't Reynolds go up there? Um, I don't know. Um, hell of money, dude. It is hell of money. He could have probably won it. But anyways. um, What was I going to say? There was another tournament. Uh, I don't know if you got the chance to see it. It was called Hype Spotting. I'm always a big fan of the UK scenes. So I was I watched a lot of it. And um, I watched mostly Marvel, but I did catch some Street Fighter. And apparently a Chun-Li won. I didn't see Grand Finals, but I saw that Chun-Li player playing, and that dude was ridiculous. Really? Yes. This Chun-Li player, I believe he's a French Chun-Li player. I forget his name. I'm sure chat jerks off to him. They'll know it, but uh, what? there's a Chun Li player who's just very, very good. Like he was doing like dance combos and like just good footsies and just destroyed people, and it was pretty cool to watch. Uh, Street Fighter wise, that's what the main story was. Um, I don't know if he had any crazy opponents, but you know, there's there's a lot of good players in the UK and the Europe scene, so that was cool. Uh, maybe a hidden gem being uh put out there. I feel but, like Europe uh, has a lot of hidden gems lately. Yeah. Because they don't get I that much. I think they're just hidden to us because we're not there. Foulmaster <laughs> was the name, by the way. Foulmaster was the name. Um, I believe, well, they just don't get a lot of playtime in the States besides from Arms House, really. That's their only <laughs> you know, yeah, strength they get. So, <clears throat> yeah. So watch out for him. He might be coming up and tearing up your evil bracket. You never know. That's the, that's the crazy thing about Evo. Sometimes you'll just be like, oh, I got this fucking Chun-Li in my pool. And it's like, oh, he's the fucking best Chun-Li in the world. Who knew? Like, fuck, like, I've never heard of him. Oh, wait, yeah, shit, I did watch that. I think Dominion tweeted it out or something like that. 
Yeah, I believe. I don't know if he was there or not, but I'm pretty sure. I want to say he was, but okay. But yeah, but yeah you, I, I saw you. It. Really good in Street Fighter. No one knows yet. No, it'll probably be a rec recurring theme of people just forgetting UK has players and everything. But uh, I believe um, I watch a lot of Marvel, and I saw a lot of the Marvel cats that I used to watch in Arms House weekly streams uh, do a lot better than they used to. Um, they've actually leveled up quite a bit, and it's pretty cool to see how they progress without that weekly you know, tournament stream. And it was really cool. I liked watching it, and Chrome Alchemist was on the mics, and I enjoyed Chrome's commentary. And he's a good player, too. He got fourth, I believe. So... Yeah, big shout out to the UK scene. I believe one up Miles got second, which is crazy. If you watched the arm costumes, he wasn't that good, but now he plays zero and he's fucking shit up. And White Black won. It wasn't a surprise he won, but you know, White Black's still dominating. And I don't know what happened to Zach Bennett. Zach Bennett is missing in action, guys. We need Zach Bennett. Pulled out a call for Zach Bennett to go to a tournament. Somewhere that's not um, Europe? Anywhere. Just, just, just anywhere? Stream. Like, I don't care. I just want to watch for. You just want to steal his fire rant tech. That, and he's a good player. And his aim tech. Dude, too many tech. He's a good player, though, and, you know, he's a cool dude. I, uh, he's probably lost interest in the game. Which is okay. Can't blame him. Um, yeah. That happened. So if you guys want to check out the archives, I believe it was... Shit, I forget the actual channel. I'll probably tweet it out after, just to give them a shout-out. But, yeah. They're good. They're good over there. They're getting better, so that's always uh, encouraging to see. They're picking zero now, thank God. They still have that one player, I think his name's Bulba Mike, who plays, like, fucking Hulk, Tron, Beautiful Joe or something. <laughs> I forget his actual team. They play weird teams in Europe. Beautiful Joe teams. You'll like it over there, Harrison. Maybe I will if I still played Marvel. <laughs> Literally nobody plays Marvel anymore, so. I play Marvel. So many people play Marvel, dude. Just not in our area. You have such a jaded view on it. We do? You do. I don't. I'm very optimistic about Marvel. I'm not at all. I think it's the greatest game ever made, dude. Like, you can't keep it down about Marvel. And I know there's a lot of players, because every time I go to a major, it's fucking new people. You know, same major, new people. Dude, you have you have F Champ, Chris G, Apology Man, and PR Ball Rock show up to a tournament, and you can only get, like, 15 people there? Come on. Dude, that's just NorCal, though. Still. It wasn't advertised as that, you know? What? As like a crazy big big name player tournament, you know? Whatever. Just saying, man. Just saying, man. Yep. <laughs> you seem a little perturbed. I don't know what that means, but probably you seem a little is. angsty. Angsty? No. <laughs> I'm just kind of lost right now. Just in a daze? Yeah. Like, did this really happen? Oh, uh, yeah. Why did I bother... Why did I bother not playing Settlers again and then coming and doing the show? That's basically what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> you would have yelled at me if I didn't show up today. What? You would have yelled at me if I canceled the show today. I would have rather you cancel the show than take your shirt off. I took all my clothes off, Harrison. Let's be real. <laughs> I would, yeah. I would have definitely canceled the show if I would have known that was going to happen. Oh, boy. I think this is our most derailed show ever. It is, all because of you. <laughs> it wasn't entirely my fault. If you just stay cool. I can't stay okay. cool with that on my screen. It's not possible. Why? Anyways, Harrison, take off your shirt. Anyways, that's not gonna happen. Anyways, I think, I think you're handsome, Harrison. Did you uh, check uh, out the NCR schedule yet? 
I have not. Um, I believe it's... Was it posted recently? Uh, I think like a couple days ago. Okay, then I haven't seen it. So I, I, I tried to look like last week, and I know it wasn't up. Uh, what is the schedule for it? Enlighten me and the viewers. Uh, well, I just think it's weird that... Well, I think it's weird, and it's not weird at the same time because there's like no scene for it. There's no injustice at NCR at all. And at all. all. There's it's not a side tournament or anything. And from reading up on certain things, basically people were complaining that they weren't the main game like they weren't a main game. And so they didn't want to support that. So okay, so I'm gonna be a little kind of a dick, no pun intended, but um last year at Ten Cigar we gave MK top eight stream you know we streamed it you and me yep and i thought it went well it was cool and people were happy about it i'm like yeah cool and come now they're like well we got treated so shitty last year and me and me i'm like what the fuck did this come from like what did like you didn't get your pool streamed holy fuck oh my god i'm sorry like neither did hell other games you know only the big two really get their pool stream if they don't have a dedicated streamer yeah, Blaze, for the most part. Blaze Blue didn't get their fucking pool. KOF didn't get their fucking shit streamed. You know, Persona didn't get their shit streamed until Persona did. Did they get pools? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I, realize. Uh, actually, maybe they didn't. I'm pretty sure they didn't. Maybe they got top 16 or something. I don't know. I I want it, but it was like for an hour. Yeah. So like the the time the, the their, I don't know what it's called. Like their pomposity or. Uh, thinking they're better than what they actually are, are is, is crazy to me. Like, they just assume they, they should have all this, you know, respect and things when they don't drive numbers. Like, you don't have a lot of numbers come to a tournament, they're not going to stream it. You know, get 200 people to show up for fucking Injustice, and guess what? You're going to have your pool streamed. You know, it's not going to be like that, but you're not going to do that. You don't have a big community up here for Injustice, or MK for that matter. And people do travel for it, and I thought last year was fine. I thought it was cool. I enjoyed the MK, you know, at, at NCR last year. You know, Blind Ducky winning. That's cool. Um, but uh, just say that it's like, oh, they treat us like shit. I'm just like, where is this coming from? Like, I have no idea what they're, they're talking about. And, you know, if they want to come on or, like, fucking send me a question and be like, well, oh, my God, Canada called me poop, then, like, go ahead. Yeah, maybe but... somebody can tweet us. Tweet me at Harrison SBA. Tweet at Hanzo Gonzo. If you're in justice and not going... Tell us why. Because I just... Uh, I think... They think... Since they're not a main game... I don't... It's just... I think it's because... They think the tor- tournament organizer doesn't like those games. So they're just not introducing them. And... Not realizing that there's... Nobody supports the game in this area. For the most part. Well, I'm not going to say nobody, but... It's Dude. not... Come on. I'll give you a perfect example of why everyone in the anime that like or MK 3D who just fucking bitches that like these tournament organizers only like Capcom games. That's why they only stream Capcom games. Look at fucking Smash Brothers. Who the fuck are these tournament organizers play Smash Brothers? Fucking zero of them. I swear to God. Like all the big name, they do not play Smash. They never played Smash. They don't fucking give a shit about Smash. Guess what? They're getting stream time because they have a fuck ton of people who are showing up and supporting the events. You know, it's not fucking rocket science. Like, it's not like these fucking green conspiracy theories of fucking. No, it's just, there's no scene, right? so there's no point in running a tournament for it, unless yeah. there's people that are gonna show up and do it. If there's nobody there, why? And boycotting the tournament isn't helping anything. It's just gonna prevent your game from ever showing up at the event. Yeah, have so fun not. Have it's... fun never coming back to that event. Like boycott it one year, and guess what? They remember. You know. The only reason, you know, Tekken has such a bad rap nowadays is because the scene just fucking shits all over the tournament organizers that run it, even EVO. And EVO right now is like, why would we add that? Why would we add a game that has been, not have a lot of, like, we supported it even though it didn't have many entrants, and then they just constantly shit on us. Like, if you're going to shit on the tournament organizers for whatever, you know, whether it's just fine or not, guess what? They're probably not going to be in that tournament. You know, don't be surprised. Yeah. Just saying. I... Just saying. Well, I remember 
Starbase supported MK for a little bit until they patched it too much and people didn't show up to Starbase for one week and nobody knew what was going on, how to play the game anymore because the game was patched too much. And then, <laughs> so yeah, everybody just stopped playing it. That I guarantee you half the people that went to Starbase played Mortal Kombat. I played Mortal Kombat. Who the man played Mortal Kombat? Basically everybody, all the Starbase all the Starbase guys played Mortal Kombat, but the patches kind of screwed it, and then Injustice, was, wasn't was it kind of broken in the beginning? Or, I don't know. It was just not... No. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what happened with that. I think it was just nobody trusted them again, so nobody wanted to play it, because they knew they was going to get patched a billion times. It did get patched, kind of, uh, a lot, but I think mainly it was the Superman killing the game. <laughs> Superman and Black Adam. I think Black Adam was much more of a problem than Superman, but they both got super nerfed now, and they're competitive now, but they're not like nearly as top tier as they were. The reason people don't play Injustice is because of that Grand Finals of Evil, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah. That, that top eight. Oh my God. Like, all the Supermans, and you know, that just, that killed the game really badly. I mean, we... there's, there's good, there are thriving Injustice scenes. Don't get, you know, it twisted, but I'm just not around here. We've had we've tried so many times to get Mortal Kombat and Injustice at Wimy Dojo. We've tried I know. We so had many Michelangelo. times. We had Michelangelo there a few times, and he drove all the way out from Sacramento. Yeah, and I was there, and you know I got shit on, but at least I played. You know. Yeah. So if you're wondering why it's not there, just look at this scene and how many people you think would actually show up. It's just not worth the manpower for them or the space to do that. And plus they're bitching right now about made up problems or problems that might have happened, but I didn't see it. And if it was stream time, then you need to get the fuck over yourself straight up. Like, if you're not fucking cool. It's like if Marvel people were complaining about stream time, like, oh, well, Street Fighter, you get a bunch of stream time. I told them, shut the fuck up. You know? It's just how it is. It's weird because they complain about Nah, that's over. Never mind. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna bring that up. Uh, I don't know. Did you look at the schedule at all? No. I'll link I know. It. I'll link it in chat. <laughs> but I was waiting for you. I, I'm just like we we've had this discussion a few times on the show where we talked about why do we need to do three day tournaments. And you've always been against them. I'm still against them. I just think this tournament could have been put into a two-day tournament. It could have. I just... <laughs> These, like, random exhibitions. Like, okay, so from 6 to 10 at night, it's going to be exhibitions. Well, why can't we just run, run games instead of doing that? I don't know. It's just... There's just too many exhibitions, and we all know unless it's unless it's two people that hate each other or like have some kind of ongoing beef or something, it's just not gonna end well. I have a big problem with exhibitions in that most of them suck. Well, the, yeah, um, I mean that's what I was sort of getting at. Yeah, most of them suck. There are some surprise ones, like there there was ECT does good ones where there it's like people were just like it's probably gonna suck, but they turn out very well, you know. Our Seasons of Beans had a good track record with that, but um, I feel like they should do that mainly to please stream people and please sponsors because I think as long as they have you know high level players playing, then they'll yeah. get views. They'll get you know the sponsor will be like hey they're getting views, yeah hey, cool, and then it gives you more things to you know, provide the sponsors, be like, hey, we have these exhibitions you can buy to be the sponsor of the exhibition, shit like that. But um, as a, like, tournament running thing, like, I really I really don't like three-day tournaments because I think the only tournament that needs to be three days is EVO and maybe a very large major. Uh, even then, you can run it in two days. It just It's just hard. So I think the three-day thing is less about uh, you know, greed or anything like that or stuff. It's just like, let's not fucking destroy everyone Saturday and, you know, have them, you know, have a full experience for the weekend and have them spread out and shit. But I really don't like three-day tournaments because I think it's lazy. 
I think two-day tournaments are just as fine. You can run them and even include an exhibition here or there. It's just more work. It... It's just more work, and it's more draining on people. So I don't think they do it. At some point, it has to make sense to do a three-day event, right? Well, yeah. Just but, like, but... Just physically can't do it uh, on two days. Like, okay, so for the third day, if you're just strictly talking about money, then that's, there'd have to be some reason to have a third day, right? I just don't see uh, sponsors alone just making up for that one day. Like, you can just cut off a day, have the same amount of people working, get it all done in one day, or spread out in two days, now you got to hire... I don't know, maybe a couple more people, but they can work. Most people can work both of the Friday and Saturday because nobody is really going to be doing anything Sunday except for, you know, a couple of the main tournament organizers and the stream people. That's that's really it. So, but with that third day, okay, now you're paying for all those people for an extra day when you really don't need to. Paying stream people for an extra day, which you really don't need to. I, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. I just don't like people taking having to take off an extra day of work in order to go play their pools, maybe. That's my big thing. Because most people work Monday through Friday. And I know your argument is like, well, if they work on the weekends. Well, most people don't. So, you know, having to take a weekend off if they work that on the weekends. That could easily be taken care of is if you pre-registered and they told you when you were going to play. That's I don't know why that would be s such a big thing to ask. If that happened, then I would have no problem with three-day tournaments, to be honest. What? If that would happen and you would know whether or not you're going to be playing on Friday or Saturday, then I think that'd be cool. But that's kind of hard because you have to seed and shit. I don't know. Do you, though? Like, you can seed for the day. And then you can just be like, you know what? Screw it. Like people didn't pre-register fast enough, so that's it. That would cause a lot of chaos. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't show up. Well, now oh, you're all in the same pool. Have fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's kind of it for NCR yeah. for me. Does NCR have 50 games? That no one cares about. Let's see. Oh no, but they had. Cool. They have Soul Calibur 2. Yes, Eris is coming up for that. I can't wait to see Dead it. Dead or Alive 5. Dead or Alive is a, for some reason, staple in NCR. <laughs> I, I don't know why, to be Last honest. Last year, my insults to them did not get through. I I don't know why, but they had people that showed up, so that's all that mattered. Yeah, they had, they had finals. Yeah. Um... And then of course Dive Kick is there for some. That kick's some a great reason. game, Harrison. It's footsies. Um, I'm surprised Soul Calibur Five's there to be honest. How does it feel that Soul Calibur Five's there and Tekken isn't? Ooh. Oh. <sighs> Do we really want to open up that cage? Like, come on. oh boy, Tekken community is so toxic to themselves. It's hilarious to me. Yeah. Soul Calibur 5 is a more supported game than Tekken. Soul Calibur 2 is a more supported game <laughs> than Tekken. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, but yeah. It should be good. Uh, I'm looking at these. Uh, if the exhibitions are cool, um, I don't mind them. But uh, I can't wait for NCR. Um, I have an idea for some shows coming up that don't involve me getting naked. So I'll share those with you. But they're going to be NCR preview shows. Man, I would be so happy for that. <sighs> we'll just wait till after this show. Here. <laughs> <laughs> God, but uh, so that's coming up in two weeks, correct? Yes. Yeah, two weeks. Three weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. So next Tuesday and then the following Tuesday, we can have preview shows. One for Street Fighter, one for Marvel. Talk to you at the after the stream, Harrison, since you really don't know anything about it because I just brought it up. I want I want to say it's kind of weird that they're doing on Sunday. They're streaming Top 16, Marvel, and then Smash Top 8, and then going back to Marvel. 
Yeah, I think it's just or another game there and just do or just have well, I can say well that is kind of dumb for the players too. Cause like they, they gotta, gotta like, get up earliest eight. and then they gotta wait for another game to finish. Well, when Street Fighter, it's, it's just start top sixteen. Time. It's not gonna start at that time. No, but making, top making sixteen players wake up the earliest. That's not a good. It's a thing. eleven o'clock. They ain't gonna wake up. But I'm saying it's top sixteen, and then it gets and then it gets stopped at top eight, and then it's Smash top eight, and then it goes back to Marvel top eight. Yeah. So I think that's kind of dumb. Yep. Yeah. They could have done like they could have streamed another game for top eight instead. They could have streamed Injustice. <laughs> they could have streamed KOF top eight instead. Yeah. Or when is that? They... Oh, uh, that's Saturday. Wow, Street Fighter Cross Second is actually at NCR. That's to be honest, we do have a big. That's true. We we have a scene. scene, yeah. For whatever reason, I mean, Kelvin is. I like... mean, if Kel if it wasn't in the gear in there, Kelvin would probably just commit suicide at this point. I don't know. Kelvin would just be like, "Fuck my life." <laughs> <laughs> you know what the best joke is to say, "Let's play some cross tech with Kelvin," and he gets really excited and just like, "I don't want to fucking play that shit game," and he's just like, <laughs> "Every time you'll get him with it too." Seriously, oh yeah, for sure. Stuff. You you definitely will. Yeah. Like he's just so optimistic about it. You just crash him every time. It's great. <laughs> All right. Before we go into questions, I got one last thing. If you guys have questions, you can send them to at Harrison SBA and at Hanzo Gonzo. Uh, DiCaprio is not going to be an NCR. Oh yeah. What are your feelings about that? I think it's kind of sketch that it's not at NCR because the game is supposed to come out in like two months. And there's no, you I can't think, even play the character yet. I think that's kind of sketchy. They saw the reaction to the Caffrey and were like, "Fuck, <laughs> we gotta like maybe rework her a little bit, maybe change some animations or something." To before make it not exactly like Cammy. Yeah, I think that's what they're doing to make it less like Cammy. Maybe the same normals or just different animations. That's all they really need. Yeah. Because right now it's literally just copy paste from it things. It is, uh, sh which is which is you know it's all they can do. They don't probably don't have a very big budget, and they probably don't have access to the animators over in Japan and shit. You know, so you know I I don't I don't I don't want to criticize them for doing that, but maybe now they like showed Capcom, hey, this is what they're fucking they're saying. If we put like even a tiny bit of effort in, it'll be way different. They're probably like, okay. I just think it's really, like, I don't know. That just doesn't sound good. When it's so close to release, and we can't even play the character. I'm optimistic about it. You're not even going to play it, so... I guess you'll be oh. optimistic about it. Yeah, I can be. Alright, I'm going to jump to questions. <laughs> okay, uh, Cult of Serlin, Dakai FGC asks, Do you have any good bum encounter stories from Starbase, Southtown, or Dragon Lounge? Do we? Shit, I have one, but I can't remember what it was. Do you remember that crazy cat lady that had the cat in the um, baby carriage? And yeah. And was fucking screaming at, at that lady to, like, don't look at my fucking cat or whatever? <laughs> I don't think was, so. Do you remember that? It was, we were walking to SCA. It was during the day. Oh, I don't think so. No. Maybe I was inside. I think I remember it. I think I heard screaming or something, but that was it. Um, there's there wasn't really that many bums. There was the I mean, he's not a bum, but like there's a guy who smoked crack and like he's probably homeless and he came in and played ST all the time. There's that guy, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and you know he just walk outside and start smoking crack and we're just like, oh shit. There's a, there's always like, there's always bums that come in and be like, oh my god, I fucking love Street Fighter. There's always those guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's happened a few times at Starbase. That happened once for sure, and we let him come in and play for like okay. a couple games uh, at Donut Dojo in Santa Rosa at Macar's Donut Shop. It was pretty funny. Oh. Uh, none of which are, I don't know, I don't have any like funny stories about bums. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, funny. Um, let's see. There's a bunch of crap. Damn. At Dread Mage asks, speaking of Alpha <laughs> Clash, speaking of Alpha Clash, can we have a swaggy emote? What is that about? 
Did you watch the stream? Kind of. I didn't. I made I up a new word. It's called swaggy. It's a swaggy. It's just swaggy. Okay. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's not that new. <laughs> nobody says it. I don't know. I guess nobody said it enough to where people said, oh, that's not funny. One of or, Justin oh, Bieber's never heard favorite before. words. That's what Urban Dictionary just said. What? Justin Bieber says swaggy. Well, oh, fuck Justin Bieber. <laughs> but yeah, that's why. You have the same inspiration why. as Justin Bieber. Oh, God. I kill myself. <laughs> hey, he's rich. Um, At Dread Mage asks, is Tokido the best fighting game player ever? Over multiple games? Probably, yeah. Yeah. I don't think that could be disputed. The dude played Blaze Blue. I think Chris picked... G is a. That's really hard, dude. No, Tokido's been doing it for so long, though, in so many games. Like, you don't actually realize how many games until someone might list them out. But Tokido does it in just shit ton of games. Chris G does play a lot of games well, but Tokido's been doing it for so long in okay. games that might be considered less scrubby than today's games. So. Uh, Jerome think, Mage think... says, uh, Alpha Clash was a lot of fun with you and Derry on the mic. What was your highlight of the tournament? I'd have to say it was when uh, Pierre Balrog versus like versus some Rufus player. And we knew, I was like, this Rufus player is probably not going to win. So we just started like rooting for the other guy like crazy. And I guess we were talking too loud because Pierre Balrog, after he won the first game, just basically started yelling at us saying we were biased commentators. commentators. <laughs> and Looking back at the match, there's nothing I said that I was like, yeah, I want Pierre Barog to lose his match or anything like that. There's nothing like that, but it was just basically, I think he was just mad he was he was losing that round. Because every time Pierre Barog would get hit, we would just get super hyped. <laughs> and, and he's like, what the fuck? You guys are biased commentators. And it's like, uh, there's headsets on the table. He could have just put them on, but... I don't know. I thought that was hilarious. And me and Derry would just... Uh, so funny. We, we were... Derry was this so... close to just, like, letting it rip and going in harder, but... I was like, you know what? The essence of old school NorCal commentary is just making fun of the players as much as possible. It doesn't matter who you are. harshest way possible. Yeah. And, you know, at Starbase, I've said it before, but people don't actually realize the fucking commentators were in your ear. <laughs> And they were just talking shit to you the entire time, you know. Just how it is in NorCal. Yep. It's how the scene is. It's all playful, though. It's fun. Yeah. Everyone talks shit. Everyone does. Um, even me. Even me. Uh, people are talking about my butt. Mm. Um, EMP Cookie asks, What is your favorite type of jam jelly for PPG sandwiches? What is I what? guess Smuckers. I don't know. Peanut butter and jelly? No, just the jam. Oh. I just use I'm not a jam the Smuckers. I'm not either. I'm more of a peanut butter guy. I like peanut butter much more. And for that, I get smooth. And then whatever the the basic one, Skippy. Yeah, sorry. I'm not a jam guy either. I hate jam in, uh, in Guilty Gear too, so I think that works out. Um... Scottbox64 asks, who do you think is going to win AE and Marvel at Texas Showdown this upcoming weekend? Uh, it depends on who shows up. I really don't know who's going. Um, I think Texas will do well uh, in Marvel. Uh, they usually do, but I think right now they're very strong. Uh, a couple of their players. So I think they're going to do pretty well. I don't know about being Chris G, if he's going to be there, but... I think they're going to do surprise a lot of people. Uh, AE-wise, I have no idea. I don't know any AE types of players. Yeah, neither do I. Uh, oh, God. Just, just random stuff from Hell Pockets. Uh, Here's a good one. At Scottbox64 asks, any tips for making a good, decent FGC stream for a brand new stream? Tips of what? How to make a decent stream. Uh, 
for a new stream. Oh, man. I think just gameplay and commentator to start off with. You don't you don't need overlays. You don't even need names. Just get people to talk on a mic and with gameplay. I think that's the that's what you have to that's what you have to start with. I think consistency is really important. Yeah, consistency too. I can you see have that. to have a like if you don't if you don't start off with like a weekly thing, it's not gonna catch on. That's how every single stream FGC wise has been branching and becoming big is that, and that's how Battle they, Circuit gets so many viewers every single week. Yeah, they D know despite despite who shows up. It doesn't even matter anymore. It's just about hey, Wednesdays I watch a fucking stream. Street Fighter and Marvel on it or whatever, you know. It's kinda like Wednesday night fights and the run back, you know. Wednesday nights, I watch fucking she doesn't matter who's there, I'm just gonna watch Street Fighter. You know? You don't have to hear offhand from someone to go watch it, you just know. I think that's really important. Any any stream was built for that. I play winner, Team Spooky, level up, all the big ones were built from weekly streams. And it's just people talking and playing. That's all on this at the end of the day. Um Blue Mega Man requests that we have a, a Street Fighter cross Tekken match. It's never going to happen. I think I have your game. We can... Yeah, I don't even... Hanzo <laughs> owns my game. <laughs> it's to want... the point where... Okay, Hanzo, did you buy it? You never bought it, right? No, I didn't buy the game. Hanzo never bought it, and I just liked the no, game enough. I bought it. You did? But I sold it back. <laughs> so basically, Hanzo bought the game, hated it so much he sold it, and then I hate it enough to give it to him, and then he hates it enough to not, not even play it. I played it for a little bit, but... I, I mean, I, if people would watch that, I guess. I'm not going to go out of my way to drive all the way to Windsor to play a sub cross Tekken. That's for sure. It sounds terrible. I'm not going to do it to you either. Um, we'll do it eventually. One of these days. Um... There was another thing. S tier Game Freak asked, Hey Hanzo, the Giants are ass. Will you be going to the International Four? No, I will not be. I'm not paying two hundred dollars to sit in a chair. I'm sorry. It's a little ridiculous the prices this year. It's two hundred dollars to have a seat, Harrison. How crazy that is. Two hundred dollars? Two hundred dollars. <laughs> For fucking video games. Just to get in. Anyways. Um, oh, I sold G Fighter X Tekken for Metal Gear Solid HD, so I figured that was that's a good trade. choice. Yeah, better yeah. choice. I think anyone would. Uh, Killer Forever asked, "How's the Kickstarter for Breadfish? Did you see that, Harrison? The what? I made a tweet about our Kickstarter. Oh yeah, I saw that. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Uh, James Chen asked, "So Ultra Chen was." So the Ultra Ten show was talking about this earlier, but do you guys think uh, standardizing? What do you guys think of standardizing tournament rules in the FGC? We were talking about that last week because top eight, all the way up until grand finals for CEO, no final round, sorry, for Capcom Pro Tour was two out of three, and then grand finals was three out of five instead of the traditional three out of five winners losers grand finals or what is becoming the Evo standard, the top eight three out of five. So what do you think about just standardizing everything and saying this is the way it should be every single time? I don't know why it hasn't happened. It's only a concern because people just are just like, well, I think it should be this way. I think just this way. Like, I'm amazed there's not two out of three Marvel tournaments. I'm fucking flabbergasted that all of a sudden everything's just three out of five. Every fucking thing. Like, it all just happened. Like, I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> you know, I don't think that's happened in modern fighting games since, you know, 2009 where a standard was just so universally adopted, you know? Yeah. It's kind of crazy to think about. but uh, The internet, man. Yeah, but I figure there should be some consensus about any type of rules. They, there should be just a ground book, uh, like a Ten Commandments, like, this is what you need to follow. You can add shit to it. But you just gotta follow this basic guidelines. The only thing about that, who's the fuck's gonna enforce that? No one gives a shit if there's penalties le le levied against them. Who the fuck's gonna? Well, you don't get evil points. Oh, who the fuck cares? I think so, at this point you have to be, your rules have to be the evo standard for anybody to even really care at this point. 
I agree, but they don't have to. Yeah. What are they gonna, what's gonna happen? Nothing. People might complain, but it's like, okay, he still showed up. Yeah. That's, that's my it. big thing. There's no, there's no accountability in many things. Just gotta normalize it. So the chat's saying, normalize it like Superman. All right. Do we have a Hanzo story? And don't take off your shirt, please. Um, I went to a club for the first time this past weekend. Uh, it's La Rosa, if you know where that, where that is, Harrison. I don't. It's the Maybe Mexican restaurant on 4th Street. Love it. <laughs> you know what it is. Anyways. Yeah, sure. Um, so I had my friend got a table, so we had bottle service, but I was the designated driver. Why am I telling this story? I should tell a different one. I already started. Uh, long story short, short uh, I danced really white and got a girl's number. That's not a good story, though. It's not a good Hanzo story. I'll tell a Hanzo story. How about that? We should just not because the show's already terrible anyway. No, okay. So I was speeding on River Road, which is right next to my house, and I got pulled over and I got a ticket. So I was like, shit. Because I was going 65 and 55. And I'd yes. never been pulled over before. So I got a ticket. And like the guy's like, well, why are you going so fast? And I was like, I got to go drunk drive. I mean, designate drive. And he's like, oh. And he gave me a ticket. And he gave you a ticket anyway? Yeah. Wow, what a day. And then later that night, I was uh, DDing, and I was driving home with all the drunk people in the car, and I got pulled over again. And I've never been pulled over in my life until this day. So I <laughs> got pulled over twice. And then um, the guy was like, oh, uh, can you roll down your windows? And I was like, okay. I'm like, So he's like, in the back, he looked at my one friend with the mohawk. He's like, sir, do you have any tattoos on you? And we're like, um, okay. And to, to be fair, this guy is like the dweebiest dude in the world. And we're just like, no, he doesn't have tattoos. Like, what the fuck? He's like, oh, we, there's a guy in a mohawk who got into a really nasty bar fight. We're just looking for him. And we all just like started laughing. It's like, he didn't get in the fight. <laughs> That's ridiculous. He's like, oh, okay. And he's, he's left. Okay, cool. That was my Saturday night. <laughs> That's it. That's all, That's all I got. <laughs> I was just trying to find the the outro for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I will not apologize, seriously. <laughs> You're not going to apologize? <laughs> nope. Uh, dang it, why can't I find the... There it is. All right. I'll do the outro. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. End of the show. Number 72. Wow, what a blast we all had for this one, guys. If you guys want, you can follow me at HarrisonSBA. You can follow Hansa Gonzo at Hansa Gonzo. If you guys think both of us suck, which I, I fucking think Hanzo is a piece of shit right now, you guys should follow us at iFlayWinner on Twitter and Facebook. Make sure you guys go to our website, iFlayWinner.com. You can go to the podcast section where you can go and watch a show that isn't shitty. Um, you can check out all of our previous shows on YouTube or MP3 format. And uh, that's it. Peace out, guys.